What is up? So I got another MOTD game for you today. Fighting for the Pack 2 Master of the Dojo. And this game is against XRB. Um, a formidable opponent to say the least. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So XRB did, he beat me pretty bad in the, the team tour when you can play any pack. But here he's locked into being in my house. And uh, this this game is honestly a high roll. <laughs> For sure it's a high roll. But XRB and Team Tour hit me with five dragons on turn nine. Or no, turn ten. One game for our uh, our Team Tour set. So this is my vengeance. So here, Moth has changed. Something to note. Moth does not give the attack to himself. But he will give it to like another Moth. So, had I not tied the first round and I wanted to win this round, you'd run the two 1-3 moths up front, and you get two 3-3 three, three moths. Not counting this moth's attack. But it's weird where it's so like, a double moth start is better than it used to be, because you get two 3-3s, three instead of getting a 1-3 and a 5-3. But now, a 1 moth starts bad, because you don't get a 3-3 three, three at all. You get a 1-3, and then two attack to whatever other unit you get but with, with bluebird start it doesn't really matter like i was never fronting moth with bluebirds anyways at least two bluebirds i combined moths there to just make sure bluebirds hit this one yeah the round never matters yeah, there's a lemur already looking good I do think this moth change has made Bluebird just better than he already has been. And yep, it's a goldfish game. Especially that I can't even front my moth anyways. It's just goldfish with moth is just even more of a reasonable take. And there's a pair of goldfish. This is pretty good tempo. Yeah, I, I'm a big hater of goldfish. But there are a few conditions in which I take it. And it's moth hatching chick. Sometimes Bluebird, and I do have the Moth requirement. But other than that, I don't really like Goldfish. He's such like a negative tempo most of the time. But with the Moth, he's like actually good tempo. It's the same reason where like a Frigate Bird with a Moth is sometimes good tempo. But this has, of course, way more upside. Here it is, Rip Apple. Yeah. I was okay with Bluebird hitting either of these lemurs. I, I do like going for Lemur 2 a lot. He does get a double draw. He's trying to buff his whatever his tier 3 is going to be. But who knows what he gets. Yeah, we lock Pill for Pangolin. Then we just hit this. Decided, like, I'm not even selling my board. But I don't think there's any other food I'd want. Sometimes I would just take rice. Like, rice is perfectly fine. But yeah, I'll, I'd will i probably sell this lemur for a pangolin pill on moth. And then just buy garlic on moth. Yeah, we get some good... Oh, we don't get good enough break points. He's going his own goldfish to counter my goldfish. Makes sense. It's going to be behind, but... Like, at least he's not going to be, like, down a whole turn. Or a whole two turns. Yeah, I'm just hard rolling for goldfish and hatching, which I hit neither of. So, going into turn 7, I unlock pill. I no longer care about pangolin pills. Ooh, we get good break points this round. He honeyed his lobster? I guess it was, he just had a weird gold break point and he wasn't looking for anything else. I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, and now here we're at six lives. We have goldfish. It's the the like the easiest choice to go chicken here. It is like in this situation, it doesn't matter what this other tier up is. You have goldfish. You're pivoting anyways. You have six lives. It is always chicken. It is the best the best tier five you could hit. Now, 
And now, like, our temp, like, even though he's also going goldfish, so, like, we're get, we're still up on tempo over him. Probably not for long, though. He is drum cooking something. He did drum cook a goldfish. But what else is he drumming? Here, I'm still at six lives. I'll take this late caterpillar. Just, like, I'm getting two cans before then anyways. Yeah, so he's cooking a Doberman. I guess he cooked a Panther for a turn, too. It seems pretty good, but it's like he's got an uphill battle. I have five lives. I hit another chicken. So I can just take this flashlight and then take a tear up next turn and buff that with the flashlight and the chicken buffs. I don't even combine these chickens because I would still run them separately. Here, I could have, I could have sold the goldfish just for the chicken and keep doing that. But the main reason I wanted to greed this goldfish to turn 11 is only because I'm going to need to buy units and equipment on 11. And like, because usually with chicken, it's like you got to buy units and then equipment. And I would like to just save the goldfish, get it for four more gold for doing it, and then just be able to buy my equipment and my units. Goldfish is getting up there. He's at 12 gold. Uh, his board is good now. He does. He still doesn't actually have scaling on it though. So it's not like I'm against the clock. And he's definitely against the clock. I take a really bad sauropod here. I'm pretty sure I buy the sauropod. I buy chocolate and I sell the sauropod. I could have just went a full board of chickens here to be honest. Which I kind of do. I do want stats on an Octo though. But, like, I could even just not. I could have completely full skipped the tier up there and just went full chickens. It would have been fine. Yeah, we're never winning this round. We don't care. We're scaling our shop. Wonder what our shop's at now. Yeah, we're at plus 11 on the shop. Now, here, I'm going to buy a. Terrible dragon. Uh, this dragon's actively just not good. A lot of times, though, like, it's only because of the mass amount of chickens I have that make this dragon not good. So many times with, like, a goldfish on 11, you're taking this double dragon and you're by selling every tier 1. So, like, don't get it twisted. Most of the time, this is correct. But because I have these two level 2 chickens, it's just roll for good units. But you, you see, I, I kind of recognize my mistake and. I don't buy any tier 1s. I don't care about tier 1s. I'm just looking for equipment and good units. Yeah, I'll sell a chicken for a good toy. Do I not? Oh, I don't even buy this toy? Oh, okay, I do. I just did it in a weird order. Yeah. Then we just get another Octo. And see here, it's like, I didn't need these. I could have just taken a T-Rex and a Mantis Shrimp and bought more equipment. And I'm still looking for this dragon level because he's got scaling now. My board's going to start with a lead and then I can just close out the lead with level 2-ing the dragon and just scaling these four units. Or these three units. Like two Octos and a Doberman. Don't mind if I do. He is on two. I probably could have just meloned the Octo, but I like covering the scaling out. Just because I have three lives, but it's not really necessary. We did get good positioning. Our coconut uh, hits into his stake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't buy a single tier one with this level two dragon. Because there's just no point. I probably just salt dragon here. Freeze the scams. I would definitely just sell this dragon. Or no, I would probably combine an Octo, because I still would like the scaling. But yeah. It gets toilet paper. It worked on one, but not both. Yeah, the salt on the dragon was good. It one-shot his panther, and we win. Yeah, we won this set 4-1. to one. I think I played pretty well. I did my new strat, which I, just, I don't play like any sap before my set. Because I always like burn out or something. I just... Waited pretty much all day to play Sap. That way I wanted to play Sap. Then I played this set. And I won pretty decisively. 
two of the games for sure were just unwinnable, and this was one of them. It's like I don't think he's ever winning this game. I think if like we switch places, he always wins this game. Like my my, my board was completely unreasonable, but it was good to pay him back for his dragon hire all he did on me and Team Thor. Well, if you liked the video, like the video, maybe subscribe. Peace out, everybody.